Okay, so today I'm going to be building Nosebone 2.0 because people have really been wanting to know how I build it. So, I guess I'll do a video about it. It's quite a while ago since I did uh, the Nosebone 2.1. Not 2.1, just the first Nosebone. But that was like a year ago now. And uh, it doesn't have white gaps. This one has, so we'll do it. So right now I'm just building the starter to it, which it, it's gonna be metal because I don't like feeling feeling like changing it from stone to metal. And I'm gonna have like the doors that are gonna be on in the end of like like when the base is done and shit, you know. So this is like the two by two starter three stories and then now I'm gonna build the uh, first like early game in their peak dance which doesn't take too much stone to build maybe like a box And there's that done. You gotta remember to, you need to have these door frames here. Either these door frames on both sides, or these up top here. Because if you don't have those, then the 2x2 two two is not connected to the outside and will just decay. So these are very important to have. And now I'm just gonna do the externals, because this is usually what I do, usually when I do it. Build three squares out, build back what three squares out, triangle, build like a triangles, move those. Do it like this, and then you gotta build. Now there's two externals you can do. There's one like where you need flat ground to build and one you don't need flat ground. And there's the one you need flat ground for, which I think I think Vice designed. It's pretty simple. You gotta just do like this, like this, so that disconnects it. See down in here. Now that's the first external you can do. Either that one, which you need a flat ground flat for, or you can do this one, which I mean, you could do if you're like building on a hill and you don't got very flat space, you can just do this TC, which is like pretty normal standard TC with, um, with this. Uh, 
and then that's something that connects it. So if you like your main TC get destroyed, you just gotta destroy that and disconnect it. So you can do either of those two. But I'm just gonna be doing the the one over there. Now something I would do before like setting up fires and shit, like large fires and whatever, you just put these squares here, so so none of your teammates like puts the large furnace like right here, blocks it. I mean you can just destroy it, but just easier. And uh, yeah, this is basically externals. I put like up right away. So now I'll just build a second in the layer peak dance. You can build like this airlock how you, however you want it, but this is just how I do it because I don't like having straight path to the two by two. As I said, this is all gonna be metal because I don't like building from stone and then just metal it later. Now you don't need to enter this, but I'm just gonna have it because that's what I like to do it. And there's the airlocks done. And what I have been seeing that it's pretty cool to do is putting door frames right here and then putting inner peak downs like this, which you can just with either double doors or just garage doors, which either you can just keep open all the time and then if you're starting to like get raided and you want to like section off your inner peak down so you can just close one door and that section's like still like good you can use this side so what I'm gonna do is just put them on the airlocks of these I'm not gonna put them here because I don't really care for it you can put them whatever
I mean, you can do whatever with this. If you really wanted to, you can have like a ladder hatch down here. Go into like a bedroom if you wanted to. Or you could even have like a doorway here, like a bedroom. But I just, I usually just leave this open and you should put a floor here instead. Because it's easier to stand on the floor than ladder hatch to shoot from. And these are the shoots I'm building right now, which is very important. It's very helpful to getting up, up and down through your base. And um, then these inner peak, there's like, like inner peak downs, like take back overs, I guess they're called. I don't know. Something like that. Just build these. I'm just gonna take out the doors there. So if like inner peak downs are lost, you could just you have a bedroom right here. With your bed and whatever, just spawn it out, grab a kit, and your peak guns are lost, you could just kill the raiders in here and just. You're good. Do the same thing on this side. Two second floors. This is the main loot room part of the base. Main loot room slash bedroom. Apple right here. Roof like that. Then let's put two high walls here. It needs not be a wall, door frame. Wall, 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 and wall here, wall here, wall, wall, and um, now you can have this in the middle if you wanted to, but. It doesn't really help that much. And uh, half wall, half wall. Another half wall. Like that, like that. And uh, can you seal up the roof here? And I'll just show some, like how I do these loot rooms. Now you gotta remember to place these ladder hatches first, these triangle ones first, before placing these boxes. Because if I would place these boxes right here, and they would be gone, I wouldn't be able to place this ladder hatch. So place the ladder hatch first, then boxes like like this. Actually get them every time, but maybe not this time. Oh, I got it. Got a floor. Let's twig that out and like this. That's one loot room I do. And I do the same shit on the tier three. But I just put the um, Whatever, fuck it. And I just do it like this, just imagine there's a box right there. 
and uh, doorways, doorways. Put like that, like that. Then place my tier three. And then something you gotta do before is, I mean, you could have, if you wanted to, you could have like half wall here with like boxes like that, or you could have a vending machine, which I usually do, but you gotta make sure you put a garage here first, and then you place the vending machine, because if you don't place the garage here first, you can place the, the, the door, because vending machines are fucked. Either one of these works. I just like to have an animation. And um, I'm gonna do this because it's like the same shit as the other, but. Do like this. Door frame, door frame, door frame. Just put boxes like this. Gotta make sure they're far in. If they're not, you can't go in. If you put them like this, you won't be able to go down and reach the lower one. Same shit for this. Like that. And this is the same loot room as right here, so I'm not gonna do that one. And this is the same shit as the bottom here. Let's just say the four boxes here. And then what I have been doing is should do that. Doesn't need to be a door frame there. If you wanted to, you can have the same loot room as right here, as right here. But what I usually do is put um, put a ramp, triangle, and then two boxes. Another box. I'm placing them very sloppy, but I don't care. Like this. And this same shit is right here. You could have placed a repair bench on here, but you can't, so you just place it usually right there. And um, what you could do is either you could uh, hold, either you could seal this whole thing off if you don't think you'll need more room, or you could do like I'm just gonna open the roof right now, but I usually just go in like a room like that. just could place boxes like this now you will have to kill yourself when you're done and um, you could put a campfire right here if you wanted to a cauldron but there's like extra room in the roof and this will still be honeycomb from the top. So, don't even matter. And this is basically a loot room. You could either, you could even have like door things in the middle if you wanted to. Garage doors, but. I usually just don't do it, because if they're in the main loot room anyway, I don't think a couple of good archers gonna stop them. The raiders. And uh, this is the way up to the shooting floor. Which I do, I have two of these on both sides. Door frame, and then do that, do that. And just doors. This is usually a battery room. You could either have a garage door or a window or like a 
single door, I usually get a bunch of just armored single doors which I don't even use. So I just place them on there. Half floor. And um, doorway like that. Doors like this, you just bunch of garage doors. Gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just quick. Same seems right there. And now I'll just do the bedrooms. Which is how I usually just do them. Window there for either you can have batteries, lockers, like just like hidden loot if you wanted to. Uh garage door frame, two garage door, well, just one garage door, then a single door. Because if you just have garage doors in the bedrooms, no one ever closes them. Like, ever. They're always open. And it's easier to just open a single door faster than a uh, garage door. This is just bedrooms in a way, like bedroom locker. Gotta do the same shit too. You can either either have one bed, like bed in a bedroom, or two. This might look kind of weird, but it's part of the process. Um, windows there, a ladder hatch frame, a ladder hatch, and this is basically the roof peaks. I'll do it right now. And uh, hold. And these are basically the roof peaks. Gotta make sure you have these though, because ladder arches are very awkward to stand on. So I'll just roof peaks like this. I'll show them after too. Don't worry. I'll do this bedroom too, while I'm at it.
There's the same shit. This other one. Gotta have these siren lights to stand on, otherwise it's very awkward to shoot. And this is basically the bedrooms, and the way it's up to the roof. I usually put double doors or armor double doors. If you don't want these walls here, you can have shop fronts. But... They're a little bit awkward to place, because... Hitbox on them. Either have walls, or... Shop fronts or windows, even if you wanted to. Uh, this is basically the roof, all you could do without the Y gaps built up. So I'll just do the Y gaps right now. Start with the corner ones. Build them this high, half wall, window, window, window. And then ladder hatch frame, double door frame. Then like this. Very important, have these ladder hatch frames, otherwise stability will be very bad. And that's corner one's done. I'll fix them later. Now for the actual wide gap. Build them this high, square, middle, two triangles, and then the, just the window frames. <sighs> and I'll just do them both sides. Well, all four sides, I mean. And now for the way up to the roofs, I put triangle ladder arches and all the wide gaps. Like that. And then just seal the roof like this. Basically the way ups. And now I'll just get the shooting floor like way ups are, I guess. Now these are usually armored single doors with the hatch, but I'll just put sheet doors there. Then either you could do have embrasures or windows. I usually just put windows on them because I want to see what's on my roof, like if someone's ready, like breaking tears at HVs and shit.
And that's the way ups. Now you're just doing the third pots and finishing the roof. You put turrets under here. But it's like really early game, like if you have the whole thing set up without the white gaps, just put those there and then they're covered. And um, you can do this with the roofs. Now you might have to put some board frames in here. Sometimes it works without them, sometimes it don't. This ability is very weird in this game. And the uh, third pods I usually do on the roof are these. Just put turrets in these. And then you could either have this like a Sam side battery room or like just a bedroom with a bed, double door, and whatever. And this is basically it. So much more to show you. I, I might just show you the shooting floor, I guess. You could, you could have like garage right here if you think it'll go through like the way it's done, but they probably won't. So, pretty kind of useless. Um, this is the shooting floor. Just get some bracers. Then just the white gaps. I really like these, like these corner ones, white gaps, you know. And then if a strap is landing on your roof with like 20 kids, use roof peaks, these ones, or these shoot like up rooms with like armor doors and shit. And that's basically it. You can have whatever you want in here. You can have bedrooms, batteries, turrets, more doors. Yeah, that's basically it. I'll show you the upkeep and um, then it's done. 42k metal. It's obviously not going to be 42k if you have some, like, st some door frames and shit, but the whole base is metal, so. It's usually around like 30k metal and like. 10k stone maybe and like 100 high qual if you decide to armor this floor which I highly recommend you armor it because it is only one floor to like the boxes here so yeah either that or armor this roof in here yeah so that's basically it show you upkeep on other TCs 1.2k 1.3k and that's it hope you guys enjoyed like and sub say nothing